as U.S. troops face and respond to a barrage of attacks from Iran-backed groups in the Middle East, they've got an advantage over their adversaries. Space. Among other space technologies, the military receives crucial missile warnings from a constellation of sensors that can detect missile launches from tens of thousands of miles above Earth. Being able to provide missile warning to say there's a missile inbound and here's the location that it came from and here's where it's headed is valuable information to keep people safe. Here's how that space technology works and why the U.S. is racing to upgrade its system to maintain the advantage. The Pentagon says there have been more than 150 attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East since fighting broke out between Hamas and Israel. And some of those attacks have included anti-ship and close-range ballistic missiles. In a wide-ranging interview at the Pentagon, Chief of Space Operations General Chance Saltzman told the journal that providing missile warning is one of the many ways that Space Force guardians and space capabilities are supporting troops in the Middle East and around the world. We have satellites on orbit. Uh, that are monitoring for infrared signatures. That's another way of saying they look for heat. Not only do they see heat, but they can see that that heat is moving. And we have operators that are able to characterize fast moving heat and say whether it is on the kind of profile that we would see with a particular ballistic missile. And then we provide that data out to everybody that's interested. How critical is that technology right now? It's very critical. The technology is known in the Pentagon as SIBRS, the Space-Based Infrared System. It includes sensors in highly elliptical orbits, which are good for monitoring the northern polar region, and sensors in geosynchronous orbit that allow satellites to stay over the same part of the Earth continuously. The spacecraft in geosynchronous orbit are equipped with both a scanner and a starer. The scanner continuously monitors the Earth for infrared heat, while the starer can be pointed at a certain location to stare at areas of interest. SIBRS also includes older satellites from a legacy program known as DSP. Working together, this constellation provides what the military calls global persistent coverage, and it cues other missile defense systems, like an Army Patriot battery or a Navy destroyer, to a missile launch. While the SIBRS program was billions of dollars over budget and years behind schedule, space security experts say it has been seen as essential to U.S. security. It gives us the advantage of being comfortable that we will not have a surprise attack. SIBRS can provide an estimation of where the missiles might land, which can be hugely valuable for mitigating casualties. General Saltzman was unable to discuss specifics about how SIBRS is helping the U.S. in the Middle East today, but there is precedent for it protecting troops in the region. In 2020, when Iran launched missiles at U.S. forces in Iraq, the military said missile warnings from SIBRS saved lives by giving troops enough time to duck and cover. Is that likely happening right now? That is likely happening right now. SIBRS is going to detect many of these launches. It's the system that's going to figure out where the missiles are going and who needs to be alerted to protect themselves or defend themselves with a missile defense battery like the Patriot. The flight time of a ballistic missile at these ranges will be a matter of minutes. That's why these space capabilities are so critical, so you can detect the hot plume of the rocket exhaust as it launches. SIBRS is also one of several technologies that can be helpful in determining where certain attacks are coming from and what missiles are involved. That's important information since the U.S. and its partners have begun striking back at missile launchers and other assets that are being used to attack U.S. forces and commercial vessels. Again, our aim remains to de-escalate tensions and restore stability in the Red Sea. While the U.S. maintains an edge in space, adversaries like Russia and China are constantly working to try and match and counter the U.S.'s capabilities. It used to be that we could just say, if you could operate the system, you were good to go. Now we have to be able to operate the system and deny an adversary's ability to take the system away from us. But with just a few highly valuable satellites in orbit, the SIBRS system is considered to have vulnerabilities. SIBRS was designed to work at a particular point in space, and there are very few numbers of them, and they are easy targets for our adversary because of their small numbers and their importance. And that's why the Space Force is working on upgrading the architecture for missile warning by launching lots of spacecraft into various orbits, something General Saltzman refers to as a proliferated constellation. That's a much more resilient architecture because an adversary has a lot harder time disrupting thousands of satellites than it would one or two. That's what the next generation looks like. It will be a layer cake of LEO, MEO, and GEO orbits that all offer different missions and capabilities. And it's a bewildering array of missions to keep track of, but that's what the Space Force was created to do. 